public really know what they're looking at? Indeed, do they know what to look for? I don't think they do, to be honest. I don't think they know the difference between a veneered, an immediately, obviously, veneered top and a solid top. Did it come as a surprise? It has come as a surprise because I hadn't realised that such beautiful work was still being done. We're looking at these pieces by Max Cooper. He's made a, a lovely little box here. And this, the detail is, is, is quite exquisite. There's a, a little escutcheon within the escutcheon. It was interesting to notice the various influences in the work of the exhibition. Krenov inspired cabinets, the honest construction and fitness the purpose of the arts and crafts movement. Well, it's not a secret really, Jeremy. Uh, it's a necessity. If you have a look, you see that it's a very two-dimensional surface. Uh, basically, it's a picture. Now, at exhibitions like this, uh, one invariably sees people crawling up the tables and looking underneath. But what's going on over here, Jeremy? Well, I tried to make this piece as original as possible. Yeah. Then we have the actual escape mechanism, where there's lignum vitae pallets letting out a second at a time. Well, this is, uh, I think, quite typical, Jeremy, in a way of, of so much of my work, in the sense that visually it's, it's very simple. And it's kind of like the little, the amount of effort that's gone into it. We've actually leveraged, getting on for 600 hours into this, because you, if you take into account the prototypes and the actual sketches and the drawings and so on. Um, you know, abrasive cloth through the slots and gradually work down the leg. It's a, it's a tedious job, but... You know, there's, there's no magic about it, it's just tedious. Through 180 and click the little spring catches. Then move it through. Bring the other one down. Lift, rotate, and drop the catches. And that gives you number three, which is the chessboard. The puzzle of all the animals and the birds that all fit into one another. I think it's absolutely fascinating. It is, isn't it? Yes, yes. I, I, I could spend, uh, I'd never get tired of it, uh, sort of looking at how clever it is. But what a delight going around this exhibition and doing what I wasn't supposed to do, touch the pieces. Good old and good new can cohabit very, very easily together and bring out the best in each other, I think. The response to my exhibition has been absolutely super. We're getting in a really good mix of woodworkers looking for inspiration and buyers. Um, I mean, the work of modern craftsmen, whether it's in silversmithing, so it's from jewelry, is actually um, at a height now which is far above any other century, there's no doubt about it.